Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video and in today's video, you see the title, you see the title, we are going to be speaking about R&B and whether or not it is truly dead. And whoa, 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 I can already see somebody typing vigorously away now, being angry based off of the topic or the music conversation choice that we are having, but no need to be an angry keyboard warrior. This is music and it's subjective and everybody's opinions are welcome. Whether you feel like R&B is dead or whether you don't feel as though it is, you can leave your opinions, thoughts, concerns, questions, comments below. Just make sure it's respectful and not crazy, please. Now, let's get into the conversation because this is something that we have been seeing floating around on the internet for years. And would I necessarily say R&B is fully dead? No. I would say that R&B in the traditional form is dead. Like Usher, Mary J. Blige, Neo, Mariah Carey, Alicia Keys, Ashanti, Justin Timberlake. That version of 90s to 2000s R&B is most certainly long gone. We have moved into the new school, new age of R&B. Traditional R&B is over. New school R&B doesn't have nearly the same feeling, vibe, impact, and soul that R&B in the 90s to 2000s had. It's just simply true. I feel personally as though we aren't going to get back to those types of vibes again. We have moved up and on from that. Not only are the vibes and the sonics of R&B today compared to the 90s and the 2000s completely different, it's also not charting nearly as well commercially as it used to back then. There was a certain point in time back then where R&B was the main genre and it was pretty much inescapable. You couldn't go anywhere without hearing Usher or Mariah Carey or Alicia Keys flooding the airways because that is what was in at the time. I would say the overall commercial relevance of R&B has significantly decreased. It's just not as mainstream as it used to be. So the R&B is dead quote unquote conversations aren't necessarily coming out of thin air. A Reddit user says, why and how did R&B lose its commercial dominance on the mainstream charts? Back in the 90s and up until the late 2000s, R&B was on top. Usher, Carrie, Whitney, TLC, R. Kelly, Destiny's Child, Dodeci, etc. But nowadays, R&B isn't as popular, specifically in white households. <laughs> I don't think that the genre will lose its footings in black households. We have very recognizable names, but they don't do the numbers that their predecessors do on their best day. Even after pop music started to decline in popularity come 2015-2016 ish, hip hop had a resurgence, but R&B never fully came back. Despite the lines between the two genres becoming even more blurry. And lastly, what do you think can bring back R&B to its prominence? Perhaps time? Just like pop music made many comebacks and downfalls, we have some great artists like SZA, Summer Walker, Mariah the Scientist, Chloe, Halle, etc. Well, since this Reddit user has made this post, SZA has dominated with her album that dropped recently that's been all over the place and people are absolutely in love with it. Coco Jones has gone viral for her many songs. Mooney Long is constantly viral for her R&B classic hits that feel so reminiscent of 2000s R&B. So people are in love and I feel like people are starting to gain traction in R&B again, slowly but surely. But some people who are in love with 2000s to 90s R&B R&B don't consider the R&B of this age real R&B and some people feel as though that it's not comparable and that R&B is still dead. Honestly, I feel like it depends on the generation that you grew up in. So if you grew up in the 90s and 2000s and you remember that part of R&B as being a pinnacle part of your childhood or a pinnacle part of your early adulthood, you're going to resonate more with the R&B of that generation and you might not feel like the R&B that is out today is anything worth comparing it to and that R&B is still trash. And then if you're more in this generation and you didn't grow up on 90s to 2000s R&B, you might think it's actually delusional for some people to consider R&B dead. It really just depends on your perspective, your music taste, your generation, what you consider R&B, what you don't consider R&B. It's all subjective again. So everybody's going to have a different take on whether they feel like R&B is truly dead or not. A Reddit user says, do you think R&B is dead? 
First of all, R&B is one of my favorite genres, so why are people saying it's dead? Well, I guess not much artists are creating that real R&B feel like back in the days. I guess Chris Brown is trying to keep it alive, although his music has changed, but still trying to keep that R&B essence. Another R&B artist that most people won't know is Vito. He makes dope R&B records. Other than that, I really don't know anyone else. Usher is another awesome R&B artist, but I feel his prime days are over. What are your thoughts, world? And please feel free to post some other R&B artists unknown or underrated because I need some new artists to listen to. Thanks. This user said, R&B is far from dead. Check out Kirby, Luke James, Her, Mattia, Victoria Monet, J. Nova, R.O. James, Sanid Harnett, Snow Alaguerra, sorry if I'm butchering these, Miguel, Mila J, Mooney Long, Sir, Coco Jones, Lucky Day. Reddit user under that says, most of those people aren't good, interesting R&B singers and or have whack production. I understand why some people like them, but it's not hard to understand why they can't keep the genre alive. So as you can see, this is still an open conversation and debate that people are having to this day. Even with all the amazing R&B artists that we have in today's generation, some people don't feel they're comfortable or have the longevity that the artists of the 90s and 2000s have when it came to R&B. When they say dead, they mean commercially. Honestly, R&B singles do sell out, but not as much as albums. No Guidance went eight times platinum, Boot Up went seven times platinum, Don't Went seven times platinum, Love Galore went six times platinum. R&B albums back in the day would go diamond, Confessions went diamond, Birthday went diamond. I think trends shifted and pop started to dominate the charts more. Also, Complex has an article about R&B going through an identity crisis, Frank Ocean, and he said he's a pop artist. Commercially, yes, I agree. The songs you mentioned that have achieved great success, for me personally, I wouldn't classify them as R&B. Reason being, it's more like a merged hip-hop R&B than real raw R&B. For example, Chris Brown's debut album or Usher's Confessions, to me, that is what R&B is. And no, now, in modern times, the music changes because of the new trends and sounds. Female artists such as newcomers SZA, Summer Walker, they're killing it. But for me, I'm a late 90s kid and I enjoy Destiny's Child, TLC, SWV, etc. But Kaylani, she's a whole nother vibe. Such a talented artist. Thanks for the feedback. R&B, R&B, a battle of the generations. It's a battle of the generations. Nobody is going to fully agree whether or not R&B is dead because it's a battle of the 90s and a battle of the 2020s, a battle of the older generation and a battle of the newer generation, fighting the death to prove whether R&B is dead or whether it's not. But of course, leave me your perception. What do you think? Do you think R&B is truly dead or do you believe that it's alive and well? Leave your comment down below and I love you. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.